they came to my house and that's how I was captured. The Nigerian police are parading and currently questioning a 21-year-old Lagos State University student who goes by the name Chidema Ojuku over the death of Michael Yusifo Ataga, the CEO of Super TV at a hotel. She reportedly stabbed the married man twice on the neck and once on the tummy before fleeing the scene. The first one was twice, the, stand, the first one on, on the neck side. I threw the knife on the bed, then he was going for it while I went for it. So while I laid on the bed, that's when it came on me to, to hold the knife and that's when I managed to stab him with the knife and then and then when he dragged the knife from me he managed to slice my hand and then as he was holding it the knife broke so it slipped off from his hand I still managed to hold, hold to it but then it was now weak and then he fell on the floor so what really happened? Hello guys, it's Noelin here from African Glitz. Michael Yusufo, according to his family, was going to turn 50 on the 18th of June. And days before then, his mother and his family were preparing for his birthday. When he was nowhere to be found, even at his workplace, his family got really worried and started looking for him. According to Chidima Ojuku, who has narrated her own side of the story after she was caught by the police, she says she has known the married man for at least four months and he was introduced to her by a friend. I met him through a friend. A friend introduced him to you? Yeah. So, on this faithful occasion before his 50th birthday, Michael Yusifo, who resides partly in Lagos and partly in Abuja, where his wife and family stays, contacted her and they arranged to meet in a hotel. I've known him for four months, five months. Okay, so how regular do you people see? Not too regular. Not she said he gave her money to pick and book the hotel as he did not want to do it under his name. She said after hanging out together, drinking, smoking and being intimate, Chidima added that she has been asking him to help her out and that was when he gave her his bank details. He began pestering her for more intercourse despite telling him that she was tired. She added that the incident happened in the kitchen while he was molesting her and that was when she was able to grab a knife and stab him in the neck twice and once in the tummy. I was already sleepy and then when it came on to me I was resisting. That was what happened. It was it was violent and violent. Well, after the incident, she took his iPhone and his bank details and withdrew money from his account before heading back home to her parents. So when Michael Yusifo's family couldn't find him anywhere, the case was reported to the police and investigation started. And this was when they noticed that something dodgy has been going on in his account and money has been withdrawn to millions. They traced the account activities and this is how Chidema got caught. And Michael Yusifo Atanga's lifeless body was found on Friday Friday morning, June the 18th, in a lucky face, one flat with multiple stab wounds. And this was supposed to be his birthday. Chidima, while being paraded by the police, she kept saying that Atanga became violent after she turned down his request for more intimacy and she stabbed him under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Okay, what kind what kind of smoke? You mentioned smoke two times. What did you guys smoke? It was SK loud. Now, some people believe there is more to this story, especially as Michael Yusifo is known as an amateur boxer and he looks big compared to this young lady. So many believe that she didn't do the deed alone and was helped by some people. Why others are saying that she planned it right from the beginning and this is why she chose the hotel. In four months you've known him, how many times have you gone out with him? And where do you and go? And what's the difference with this particular one? We haven't, we haven't gone out like out. It's always like we can meet and then we go to the house and we go to see. The millionaire whose wife is called Brenda Antaga is a manager in Nigerian Petroleum Corporation, NNPC. She has a great job in the Nigerian oil company with over 15 years of experience. The couple are said to have children and has been married for at least 20 years. The investigation has also exposed the CCTV of the lovers having 
having a dinner at a restaurant. While I was lying there, I just, I changed and then I left the room. I looked for the key for where he ate it and I left the room. I will do some almonds. How much? And um, what did you plan to do with the money? What I plan to do with the money? The money you withdrew from his account. Okay. The Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, Hakim Odumosun, says 21-year-old Unilag student Chidema Ojuku conspired with some other persons who are currently now at large to carry out the killing of Michael Yusifo Otaga. A statement released by the spokesperson of the State Police Command disclosed this while parading the young lady. They also talked about the time of death and said the suspect was tracked and arrested in her parents' home. And the investigation is still ongoing to arrest other accomplices. How did your parents get to know about this whole situation? Did you inform them yourself or how? Um, it was like the parents. I still my parents. You stay with your parents and you left on a Sunday and this happened when? That's like three days in travel or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. What did you tell your parents you were going to? I, I told him I told him I was going to mm -hmm. what? A strange job? Yes. Have you been doing it before? However, the case will be charged to court as soon as the investigation is concluded. Oh well, we guess time will tell if she did it alone or if she had help. So, the story has packed a lot of conversations online. Some are saying what is a 50-year-old man doing with a 21-year-old undergraduate. Others are saying it was a stage case of murder, while a whole different set of people are saying the young lady set it up all by herself, where some others believe it's a case of self-defense. What are your thoughts? Do you think she needs a lawyer? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share. Don't forget to subscribe for more real life shocking stories we know you would like. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.